the laptops and the oh. analog shit. So it's a cool interface, man. It's oh yeah, the, you mean the USB thing with all the knobs and stuff? He calls it a sound guard, but it's a big box, like this big. And it does <laughs> Did have you see that? Knobs. No, I Did think you? I recorded it though. I was looking. What happened? She was feeding. Oh, she's trying to feed him? Yeah, I tried to. <laughs> Uh, the head moving is just enough for them. No, you need to stop it. Oh, get a bit of... uh. That's a baby mukate. Even the baby ones are hard to kill, huh? Ah. <laughs> yeah, that thing. <laughs> yeah, so now it's moving autonomously towards, it's moving its arms towards where it detects the motion at the moment. Oh. Yeah. Autonomous. Oh, Oh, shake his hand next time he puts his arm out. Because I think that'll make him talk. See, I set that program, his fingers, the reason he can move his fingers easily is I have the robot loosen his joints so that it's less likely to be damaged when you start playing with him like that. Oh, it poked him in the face. That's awesome. Let's be friends. Let's be friends. He likes you. Wow. I don't know if you watched me walk around him. Can touch his hand to get his attention, Zen. Touch his hand. He wants to be uh, the other part. <laughs> the middle part. Go, go. Yeah. Pet him. Here you go. Uh, unfortunately, that won't do anything in this program. Yes. You should teach him to stand up, dude. You can do that. Just not in this behavior. And what is this behavior entitled? Mm, sense, react, provoke. What it's doing. Sums it up. Yep. The let's be friends was provocative. <laughs> he's holding his arms out like Yeah, that's the provocation too. Yeah, he's like try, like embrace me. Let's be friends. Actually, um yeah. you're allowed to pick him up and if he senses that you give him motion, he'll go limp. Wow. So you could use this like in health classes, like kids could like take them home and see what it's like to have to raise a real baby, you know? <laughs> a real robot baby. Well, you know, like in health class, sometimes you know, that's around like a, a plastic baby for a week. You know, you're right. I hadn't, I hadn't thought of that possible use for this robot. It just seems so unrealistic. But I guess if they're using a, um, a puppet anyway, this would be a step up from an ordinary puppet. Just write the program, man. It's not a bad idea. Thank you. They are used. They they do want to have um, therapy applications for this. That it's kind of in the same medical category. I don't really see that happening. People don't want, ro want robots to give them therapy. Um, one of their plans is having repetitive 
interactive tasks with the robot to help autistic kids. Yeah, autism is a weird one. Mm. The connect interface that I do could be useful for some people too. Mm. His little innocent face, man, is cute. Yeah, he did a good job with his uh, aesthetic design. What's with the yen sign? The upside down yen sign? Oh, that's actually um, the Eiffel Tower. That's one of its meanings. It's it's the uh, Japanese kanji for Roku. Six. Yeah, yeah, for six, and it's supposed to also look like the Eiffel Tower, and an A for the name of the company. Where it could even be, if you think of kanji, I see die. It could be big. <laughs> oh, yeah, so in that regard, it looks kind of like a human form, because there's arms and legs and a head. Yeah. Which is very ro human or robotic of them. It's cool. Yeah, man, it's a cool logo, really. Yeah, I like it. The Eiffel Tower. It could be big, it could be, what were the ones you said? It could be oh, an A. Six. Hey, Andy. Chips. Hey, Andy, what's up? Chips. Oh, was... yeah. Wow, this is amazing. I've, only one other person has stayed in front of this program as long as Zen has. After he gets bored with it, I can enable some other stuff, so now starts doing like funny things every minute or two. He gets bored? After Zen gets bored with this program. Oh, yeah, now gets bored. I thought you meant the robot. Uh, the only thing I unplugged was the power cord, so just the white cord in front of you. Just plug it back in. Good job. I thought you said it's a bomb jungle, but I'm kind of jungled out, dude. <laughs> Call Indy, stop. To be honest with you, I am jungled out. My debut is the club next week, man. Juju? Yup. Cool. Well, I already played there one time on Friday. Cool, dude. But it's my, like, I'm playing on the big system they got. Which is cool. But they asked me to open from like 9 to 10, and the club opens at 10. Yeah. They really just want me to warn you. Oh, you the know. bucket has won the attention away from the robot. Do you guys mind if I put this on YouTube? <laughs> it's a good thing he's not looking at you through his eyes. Uh, if I can get a stronger inverter, otherwise no, we just use my system. Can you go down to Psycho tonight? Uh, I might check to see if they got power available, yeah. Oh, did they just figure out that it responds to sound? Hi. <laughs> You know, you don't have to scream. But they like. No, here.
here. Watch. All you have to do is this. Oh, you can't kiss the... You're confusing poor now. <laughs> he did not punch you. He's peaceful. Apparently now just punched that. Well, he was screaming in his face for a minute. I don't blame him. Stop, stop, no, Dad, stop. Stop, stop, stop talking with the robot. Punching, you know what to do. Relax. You get a bit like a robot, shit. Stop talking to the robot. Stop talking to the robot.